Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Mad Podcast. Generally speaking, Libertarian Roundtable type discussion. On my own right now, General Patrick Flynn, my usual co-host, sends his regards and well wishes. Um, usually I dive into articles and what have you. Uh, obviously you can see I'm too, kind of plowing through some notes here ideas and articles, uh, videos, whatever. I had an idea for another Defending the Undefendable. You probably like some of the other ones I have. Some of you actually left comments, and I do welcome them. Uh, as long as they're done in good faith, I, I generally speaking, don't mind. I don't like when uh, people wish death on other people, but if you have to, you have to. Um I wish you peace in your life if you are one of those people. Um, I had somebody, and I think YouTube, erase the comment. I would have rather kept it. I, I don't, uh, unless there's spam or, or some type of scams, I'll let them go through. All right. My Defending the Undefendable today, Gavin Newsom. Some of you clowns in California know who I'm talking about. Some of you clowns know who I am uh, speaking about, even if you're not Californians. Which, source of irony, uh, well, roll with that one. Um, I did, uh, some of my notes weren't the most in-depth. It's more, eh, we'll say punchlines and jokes, but, oh lord, yeah. Yeah, some of y'all might know him as uh, the governor of California. I almost said governator, but that is a title left to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, y'all might have remembered him, uh, if I think back. He was a lieutenant governor at one time, uh, like a mayor of uh, San Francisco. That doesn't say much, if you ask me, because he was in the middle of it, the downfall. Um... He's had connections to various uh, clown, or the clown people in charge. Clown. <laughs> these are these are uh, political figures that run everything, and and it's just clown world. That's the best way I could describe it. These people are clowns, and and you would ask me why I call these folks. Why I'm defending Gavin Newsom. And somebody once told me you are judged by the company you keep. This guy definitely. I think he's around some real hustlers and dishonest people. And I think that as as much as there are a handful of decent people in California, there's a lot of shit. Pardon French, pardon the cussing, but it's shit. I think that a lot of the people he's surrounded himself with were shit. Um, as much as Kimberly Gafoyle is the uh, ex-old lady, how do I word? Uh, I'm not, I want to say she's more than a thirst trap. She's actually a brilliant person. I think she's smart. I think he's smart. But when you're in a land of, of just degeneracy and of just criminal downfall, where people have no integrity and where people are just giving in to, uh, this isn't even a base, a base nature. This is beyond soulless. And the government uses the downfall of their, their downfall well continuous downfall of their bad decisions to push themselves into power and you would ask well, how could i defend a guy who's done that i think that the people in their state outside of a current recall attempt have given they basically their their lunacy degeneracy and their soft-handed approach has helped put people like that into power. It's been over time. It's been, at one time these people were flush with money, and now they're making bad decisions. They let, it's just a perfect storm. 
And I think he's, as much as he's using his position to stay out of uh, the bottom level of filth, he's floating on top of a level of filth. I, I think that there's a point where you get into government like that outside of uh, uh, what the Patriots of Stickabuck County would say, dropping a bomb and letting God sort them out. I think people like him are, are just riding a turd and they're trying to just not drown in the filth. And I'm not saying he's an angel. Believe me, he's far from it. But I think he's... I think he's too weak to do the hard job. He wouldn't be the one who would... He's not the person who would pick a concrete a slab off of a dying person. He's the person who would roll his sleeves up and start pointing at other people to do the hard work. And, and you ask, well, what does that do with California? It, it's California. Anything that's... It's, I mean, people are leaving in droves, and the only people left behind him aren't strong men. There's, there's, I don't even know what passes for a man over there these days. There's people shitting in the streets, drugs. There's, uh, you name it. There's, I mean, there's almost like autonomous zones run by criminals, and. It's not no-go zones. It's almost like we're letting things run this way. And we have pockets of places where it's just shit. And you know what? He came in on a, a horse with no legs. And I just call it a turd and a river of filth. And you know what? I said, outside of... I mean, really hurting people's feelings, which he's not willing to do because he's not, he doesn't have a strong man inside of him. But I always tell people, weak conditions do create weak men. He's a weak man in a weak environment with weak conditions and nobody to hold him account basically gives people like this power and allows them to continue to turn a place into filth. And that's what you're looking at. I'm not saying he's a good person. I'm not defending filth. But I'm going to tell you when you give when you give a pot of stew and and you just keep adding just it's it's not even the stew analogy. It's just it's a river of filth. And there's and it takes a real drastic opportunities and you have idiots and ineffectual softies that make it worse. And you know what the intellectual softies ineffectual softies and dingbats and worthless people have helped create another worthless stooge and that's what this guy is and you know what if you ask me Arnold Schwarzenegger was a stooge he might have tried to do something right but he's still dealing with California soft limp wrist soy creatures leftist weak whatever you want to call them and you know what it's all feel-good morons and pride, this, that, transgender, whatever. It's not, it's not turning this place into anything better. And you know what? He just went from one crap hole and just tried to turn the rest of the state that way. And you know what? It's spreading. I guarantee you it's been spreading for a while. And people say, oh, well, in the north, there's some conservatives. They have their own idiots up there. And you know what? There's no strong, no strong man's coming out of the woodwork. They're, they're riding high on, on the hedge funds or whatever they're making money off of. And they're just poo-pooing their way through it, putting, closing their eyes, sticking their fingers in their ears and going la la la. And you know what? Unless they break off, which state of Jefferson, the proposition, or they just go to town and, and pull some, some Caudillo level, strong man antics or just have an airlift and get all the conservatives out of there and then wall it off because the short creatures are going to get sick of it and go somewhere else but you know what it might take a strong man or a warlord to clean up a place like that. the rest of the nation won't be able to do a thing about it 
we can always cry to the U.S. government, but they'll let, you know what, states' rights, you're idiots, Tenth Amendment, whatever. I hope I got that one right. But anyway, folks, that that is uh, Gavin Newsom defending the undefendable, huh? Uh, somebody said when you're in an, a certain environment, and, and often the environment rubs off on you. I live in a rural area instead of a big city where I used to live, or a bigger city. And the thing is, certain things and certain attitudes and actions rub off on you. And I didn't paint myself with feces and running around with a road cone on top of my head and poo-pooing the fact that junkies sleep on the streets. No, but maybe Gavin Newsom did. All right. Now, you know what? I said, I'm defending the undefendable. He's a weak man because he's in a weak environment surrounded by weak people in a torrent of filth. As Mr. Leahy from the Trailer Park Boys once said, the shit hurricane blows in the shit birds. Anyway, folks, thank you for stopping by. I do want you to hit the notifications, like, subscribe. Um, down below, I should have the Twitter gab uh, hate email, in case you want to send email. Uh, not a lot of you do, but I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, comment. Uh, if you're uh, feeling uh, feisty there, I generally speaking, unless it's spam, I won't erase your comment. I actually do thank some people for stopping by, even if it's comments I don't agree with specifically. But I do appreciate you. All right, folks, stay clear of the shit river. Do not grab on to the nearest turd, build a boat, or dam it up and wash the crap away. Thank you for stopping by.